What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about one of our babies and that's Safe Moon. And you know we love a bit of Safe Moon on this channel. If you want to hear all of the latest updates for Safe Moon, then you're not going to want to miss this video. So if you don't know me already, my name's Connor and I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy sitting in his room talking about making money online. So if that sort of thing interests you, you're into stocks and shares, you like cryptocurrency, and of course you enjoy stacking those sats, then this is potentially the channel for you. So why don't you just quickly smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and join the family. And as always, I have to say that as I said, I'm not a financial advisor, so nothing in this video is financial advice. It should all be taken as entertainment because this video is simply based on my opinions and those opinions can sometimes be wrong. So with all of that said, be safe, do your own research and never invest any money you're not okay to lose. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down everything that happened in the most recent Safe Moon AMA and all of the news that you need to be fully up to date with Safe Moon. Without wasting any more of your time, let's jump to this video. By popular demand, I have created a Patreon account. So if you fancy it, come over and join. I have things like general support, technical support, weekly portfolio updates, updates on cryptos that I'm researching and weekly AMAs and loads and loads loads more. So if that sort of thing interests you, then come over and join the Patreon. That link will be down in the description. So what's up guys and welcome to the computer. So as I said, today we're going to be breaking down the latest news from one of our babies. It's of course Safe Moon, and there is a lot to unpack from the AMA. So if you didn't have time to watch it or you just want a quick summary of what happened and what's happening in the world of Safe Moon now, then you know you're in the right place. So let's get to this over on Safe Moon. Look at that price, 00896. Incredible 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 we are down a little bit from where we were but we are doing seriously well for remember a coin that is only 66 days old that's right safe moon is only 66 days old which is incredible we are still very much holding this high price up here which is a very good sign we can head over here to the chart and as you can see we've had a recent run up here we came down a little bit obviously there's going to be selling pressure when people are taking profits there's whales out there with large amounts of safe moon tokens and it's just natural that they're going to want to take some profit sometimes. You know, I did it. I'm actually 90% out of my safe moon position because I bought so early on that that 10% is still worth a significant amount. So I understand what it's like to take profits. And like I always say, I think taking profits, securing your initial investment and all of that sort of stuff is really, really important. It not only makes us less emotional with our trades, but it also makes it real. The money's not real until you sell, you know? And depending on your outlook on SafeMoon, if you have a five-year time horizon where you think SafeMoon is still gonna be around one of the top coins in five years, then that's awesome. And you should follow your plan depending on that outlook. But if you're not so sure, then taking a little bit of profits here and there is not gonna hurt anyone. Like I've said before, no one ever became poor taking profits. But hey, that's just my non-financial advice opinion. And sometimes it's wrong. So the price is looking great. Look at that. We're close to that all-time high up here. And it's just very juicy. What we need now is another piece of good news. That could be a large exchange listing, that could be their wallet being released, or anything that could send that up. And talking about their wallet, they have a new update. Here it is, the video. You can personalize it. You can make it your own, your own theme. Make it your own again and of course dark mode because everyone needs a bit of dark mode we've even got saving jars so you can save money for holidays and your goals and you can see them coming soon to a pretty cool safe moon holders phone near you <laughs> so yeah that's the update for the new wallet which looks great to me they covered it briefly in the ama they are very excited about what's coming next for the wallet. And honestly, I think the wallet's going to be great. They spoke about a Simplex partnership. So Simplex is an on-ramp for fiat onto crypto. So you can basically buy cryptocurrency with a credit or a debit card or anything like that. And that is going to be an amazing thing in their own wallet, which really will sort out one of the biggest issues with SafeMoon. And that is actually buying it. It's really hard for a beginner now to buy SafeMoon. And in my opinion, that's not necessarily a bad thing because I think anyone who's brand new to crypto should spend time doing their research, doing their due diligence and finding out what they genuinely believe about the coin before they invest hard-earned money. But at the point where you do want to invest, then this 
wallet and fiat on ramp will literally make it so easy. I remember back in 2017, it was so hard to even buy Bitcoin. So we've come a long way since then. And this wallet is going to make a real difference in the ease of actually buying SafeMoon, which in turn could result in that catalyst that we're searching for. So I think that's really good news. On BSC scan, we can see 1.85 million addresses. Remember, guys, this is a coin that's 66 days old. That is probably closing on the 2 million holder mark, including the wallets that are on the exchanges. Because as you know, BSC scan only shows us the wallets that bought it directly through PancakeSwap. If you haven't bought SafeMoon yet and you do want to buy some, then check out this video here. It will help you step by step. But like I said, it's pretty tricky. So moving on from that, they spoke about the cert tick audit and how they're addressing anything that came up in that. They've really had a great interaction with the team over at Certic and things. Things are looking very good for SafeMoon. We saw, I think that audit was one of the catalysts that made this upward price movement happen, which is great. And like I said, that's what we're looking for now. Again, we want some more positive catalysts to send us to the moon safely, of course, because, you know, it's, it's, it's safe moon. So they did talk about having two new exchanges. They didn't speak about which exchanges these are, but they are in the top 30, which is pretty incredible. Again, that could be the catalyst we need. They spoke about Coinbase and Binance. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I think a Coinbase listing is very, very unlikely. It took Cardano four years. So maybe they can get on Coinbase in four years, but I wouldn't be holding your breath for that. They did touch on Binance, but again, they're not really saying anything. After what happened with the CEO of Binance, the CEO of Binance, if you didn't know, basically said, don't bombard me with, uh, you know, don't shill me your coins because I'm going to put you on the blacklist. In my opinion, I think he was talking about SafeMoon. So they tend to not speak about the subject anymore. But again, I wouldn't hold your breath for an exchange like Binance anytime soon. One day, I do think it will get on there, but I just don't think that's the kind of thing that Binance will rush into. And then on top of that, they also spoke about being covered on big news publications like Vice. We can see the post here. They were talked about on CNBC just the other day on the 9th of May, and then also on Wall Street Journal Markets Twitter page. And there's a whole article about SafeMoon and a few other coins. Every day, new good news is coming out for SafeMoon and hopefully we can keep this upward trajectory going. And I think that's definitely possible as long as the bull market of cryptocurrency stays on. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I like to follow the 50 day moving average for Bitcoin. We are currently above that, which gives me a good indication that we are still in the bull market. When it comes to Bitcoin, if we were to drop below 48, the next level of support I would be looking for is this 43 mark. If we break through there, that is when I will start being worried about where we are in the bull market. But as I said, right now, we're looking pretty good. So from there, they basically just spoke about getting into games. They've created a Minecraft server and they are testing things in there, which is pretty cool. Minecraft, as you know, is a highly customizable game. I don't really know much about it. I don't use it myself, but there are loads and loads of users of Minecraft. So they're testing that. They want to use SafeMoon as a currency. And this is the start of those testing phases, which is awesome if you ask me. And then they just spoke about scams and protecting your wallet address and protecting your private keys. Don't share your private keys with anyone. Just keep that stuff locked down. I know there are a lot of people out there who have been scammed and they've lost their safe moon or any other hype coins that sit in that trust wallet. And one of the main ways that these guys manage to do it is they pretend to be, let's say, pancake swap, or they pretend to be support from trust wallet they ask you to follow a link and then when you follow that link it basically gives them access to your wallet so don't follow any links do double check when you're talking to anyone online that they are who they say they are as you can see pancake swaps actual at is simply pancake swap it doesn't say pancake swap support or anything like that i've blocked a lot of these accounts that i see and i do try and tell as many people as i possibly can so be, be very careful of scams obviously down in my comment section people impersonating me people on telegram impersonating me so be very very careful Careful. Obviously, guys, I would never reach out to you guys and ask you for money for you to give me any private keys or private information. Just keep that in mind. And then lastly, you can see this billboard here. I think
think that's on Times Square. Yeah, it's on Times Square. And basically what they said was they had nothing to do with it. This was completely community led. And now next up, they spoke about the community planning to get an ad on the Burj Khalifa. And I'm currently in Dubai. And what you can basically do is chuck an ad on the Burj Khalifa, which will be absolutely incredible. If that does happen, guys, you know, I'll be down there. I'll get footage firsthand for you guys and I'll post it on the channel. But that will be pretty incredible. So that about rounds up what's happening with Safe Moon these days. I think that if you haven't got into Safe Moon yet, you should be very careful getting in at these levels. I do think that we have potential downside coming up if we see bad catalysts, so bad news coming out. There is a potential for the price to go down. So don't blindly jump into this. Don't think it's a guaranteed win. Do your research. Don't risk any money you can't afford to lose. And remember, everything that I've said in this video is simply my opinion and should be taken as entertainment. And that's about it, guys. Hopefully, I provided you with a little bit of value. And if I did, don't forget, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!